Hi guys, hi Rainers, it is Jean from Rain. Today I want to do a dedicated video in English only, especially for our international community and for the people located in Europe. So the idea is to show you some uh, uh, quick win on our website to follow our uh, market research, because as you know, every day, every week, we are publishing some opportunities, ideas, some relevant information about the volatility of the crypto market. Uh, we used to do those video in uh, French, usually, as we know that you can also use the subtitle of the, of the YouTube component to, to be able to follow us. But I think it was also great to start a new season around only English video for uh, the crypto market research. So let's start. As you can see uh, on my screen, I just wanted to show you uh, on our website the categories when you can find a side of the saving component, when you can find the best, I would say, vault uh, at this moment regarding the yield that we are providing. But what is interesting is more what you can find in the invest uh, part of the website because you can have an access to the RAIN research where we are publishing uh, every week, not every day, but uh, on a regular basis, depending on the volatility of the market, some uh, ideas of trading and opportunity to watch, especially with a dedicated follow-up on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if you guys are interested for uh, institutional uh, market research, don't hesitate to, to follow us on the website. And obviously, uh, if you want also to, to download and use the app, you can just uh, uh, screen the QR codes on my screen and you can access to the download component of our RAIN app where you can find also this kind of uh, market research. Just to finalize, before going to the, the, the research, I wanted to show you where you can find us also on Telegram, uh, on the RAIN app official Telegram, you have also the categories of RAIN research and a chat dedicated for the opportunity. So don't hesitate to join our community and we'll be happy to uh, chat with you, communicate about the, the crunchy token that we are following. And I hope this video uh, will be really useful for you today. So uh, let's go ahead, guys. Uh, as you see, um, the last pass, uh, I would say four weeks was really interesting because we had kind of uh, significant consolidation on the crypto market before finding a kind of bottomish where the bullish momentum now is accumulating some bullish momentum, which is quite nice regarding, uh, mm, I mean, the, the, the Bitcoin halving ahead because the market is already uh, at the right position right now to accumulate, accumulate a significant momentum in the coming days, weeks and months. So we are pre-bull run in this, uh, in this configuration. And I wanted to show you the, the, key, the key elements from our methodology uh, to guide you also in your selection for your portfolio in terms of uh, crypto assets. Uh, just to uh, remind you before starting into the into the, the market analysis, you know, in rain, uh, we are used to uh, watch and analyze the market on an institutional grade basis. It means that you will see on the technical part, uh, aside of the fundamental study of the supply and economics of every token, we are used to uh, use the technical analysis as a tools to, to, to guide us to understand the trend. And this technical analysis is based on three key uh, I would say categories of element we have the graphical approach which is quite classic from years and years people are using this kind of approach to to basically draw or design a bit where is the trend and we use the mathematical indicators especially the moving average and the RSI indicators to to see where is the momentum into the trend it's more statistic element it doesn't provide so much um, I would say uh, projection element in terms of target or, or price evolution. What is really important uh, at RAIN is that we use the Elliott Wave approach and the harmonic trading to then size and to give the best proportion, the probability of proportion of of the of the movement, uh, which allow us then to define some key pivot level when we can articulate two or three scenarios. And then with this approach, we are able to give you more, I would say, probability of uh, scenario realization uh, in the in the in the coming days, coming weeks and coming months. So it's by combining these three elements that we are able to give you kind of a strong 
uh, I would say, input in terms of technical analysis research on top uh, of an analysis on correlation and trees correlation, which can also give a clue between the correlation between Bitcoin, the, the, the rate market in the US, the stocks market. So um, with this approach, we are able to give you an accurate, uh, uh, I would say, um, picture uh, of the volatility of the market. And we are able also to align the key support, the key resistance, which are defining the scenario. So it's really useful when you want to, uh, for example, having an idea of timing or an idea of target about what could be the, 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 the projection in the market. You will be able, by following us, to have more accurate uh, market research on a daily basis and also on the weekly basis. So don't hesitate to uh, follow us and to, to, to click on all the buttons on the social networks to be able to follow our research. And uh, we're going to start this video now with the analysis of the long term element uh, regarding the Bitcoin to the short term. And when you have the picture of the Bitcoin, then the correlation between all those tokens will help us to design and to define the next scenario and key levels on Ethereum and on other token as well. So let's go ahead, guys. Uh, here you will see you have uh, in front of you the long term picture uh, of the, the, the Bitcoin. So we are here on a weekly chart basis, uh, which is uh, a good uh, frame period to basically provide the, 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 the long term project of the trend ongoing. What is in really interesting right now regarding those elements is that there is clearly uh, a consequence, or I would say like a, a pattern of auto-realization uh, every time we have the halving of the Bitcoin, which uh, have to occur in uh, April 2024, this year is about 60 days ahead in front of us. So uh, every time we have uh, this kind of halving, everyone knows that we have a significant impulsion of uh, a bull run following this halving, like the prior one, which in this period here you can see, uh, then it provides a significant recovery to the upside. Uh, after having uh, enduring for almost two years uh, significant uh, correction in the crypto market here, you can see, we are now quite sure to have, to have let a major bottom in this area, which is uh, correlated also with the, the divergence that we have on the on the indicators of the uh, RSI indicators. And as you can see right now, we are in this phase where the RSI can accumulate a significant amount of time in the overbought area to push the bullish momentum into the price action of the, of the Bitcoin. So regarding the mathematical indicator, the second, I would say, compartment uh, of the technical analysis for the time being, the, the RSI indicators is still accumulating uh, to the upside in the overbought area, uh, while the moving average are now uh, supporting the market by uh, having more speed to the upside following the price action uh, of the, the last past weeks regarding the Bitcoin. And then we're going to analyze uh, then the, the, the proportion of the movement. It's been like how the movement can be basically designed uh, to reach the next target because everyone has his own target on Bitcoin. But basically, it's much more easy to provide kind of technical good proportion that means that we are able to give you more accurate target for, for the coming uh, months and coming weeks, especially by the end uh, of the bull run. What is really <coughs> interesting in this, um, this long-term chart is that for the time being, as we know that the major bottom has been let here uh, uh, lately, 2022, early 2023, right now we are analyzing the, the, the sequence between impulsive move, corrective move, and impulsive move because for the Elliott Wave principle, when you are entering in an impulsive move, you need to design at least five waves up uh, to finalize this impulsive move. And for the time being, we are in this kind of configuration right now because the first recovery that 
the market design from uh, the end of 2022 here was the, the first wave uh, once. Then we have a classical flat pattern in wave two. And we are right now in the accumulation of the following wave, the more strong wave to the upside because it's a consensus wave where the market is agree. Most, I mean, if you check the fear and grids indicators for the time being, or if you check the psychology, the global psychology of the market, everyone is quite oriented with a consensus for a bull run uh, for the Bitcoin and is exactly what we can see right now uh, in the chart. So for the, um, for the third wave potential, we're going to use some uh, projection in terms of um, uh, Fibonacci tools. And as you can see here, when you, when you have this first uh, green area target, it's when you have like more uh, drawing kind of auto similarity movement here like this, you see, like one impulsion and then a reaction by exiting the, the flat range that we let in wave two. And now the, the significant acceleration level are set at 60K because once we're going to surpass this uh, area, then we can uh, liberate basically the potential of the next ratio of the wave three, which are on the standard basis 1.618 and 2. Okay, and that's why you can find this kind of long term upside target in front of us for the coming weeks, I would say for 2024. OK, so basically the idea right now is to focus on the short term basis to the under, I mean, how to understand the psychology within this third race ongoing. And we're going to consider that the next major bottom from the start of the third wave is there. And right now we're going to analyze all the volatility of the market from this point. And that's why also uh, on the long term basis, the strategic support has been set on the uh, largest Fibonacci retracement at 76.4 in order to catch any kind of short term squeeze or volatility move uh, within the third wave uh, ongoing. OK. So basically, as you can see right now, on the long term basis, the strategic support is set at 30,500 uh, corresponding to the moving average, probably corresponding also to the 50% area of the RSI. So in case of panic selling move, we say right now that this support remain the strongest one to push the, the Bitcoin uh, to the upside. But the preference right now on the short term is even not to retrace so much within this uh, uh, impulsion, because as you can see, once you have a very huge impulsion like this movement, most of the time, the setback are quite small before targeting and finalizing the impulsion move. So we are in the same kind of um, dynamic. And uh, on this current level right now, what is really important to watch, you have here, obviously, the moving average that provides for the time being a good element from the statistic uh, projection. OK, so here is where basically all the uh, interest in the market are positioned uh, on an average time basis. And then uh, we're going to check also what is going on on the graphical elements, such as, you know, this Hammer Doji. So we have, we know, let probably a significant support also last time by the end of January uh, by uh, this uh, or by starting this new impulsive move from the first moving average. So the momentum is quite strong, as we can see. And right now, the idea is just to finalize uh, slowly the progression of this for the third wave, even maybe in extension to reach the 100k area, even if for the time being, the standard consensus are more providing uh, 77,000 as a magnet for the wave three before engaging a kind of interesting consolidation when the portfolio can be optimized for the short to midterm players. OK, so now you have the big picture uh, on the long term on the Bitcoin. So we are clearly bullish above 30K area to reach uh, at least 77 in a common part or with a strong conviction. And now we're going to zoom into the daily element and the three hours chart uh, element in order to uh, have better understanding about the next move in the coming days and weeks. So on the... Daily chart basis, you know, what we're going to follow is this uh, bullish channel dynamic that is offering for the time being a good 
picture in terms of graphical elements, but graphical is not enough, obviously, to basically provide, uh, I would say, like, uh, significant strong element to focus on to build a trading strategy we know that it's a clue and that's why also we have an accumulation below this uh, upper part of the um, of this bullish channel but uh, if we want to have really a good understanding about what will be the next movement we're gonna have to use the hello wave pattern uh, once again and to follow also the short-term mathematical indicators such as the moving average average and the RSI. Okay. So RSI last time just bouncing off the 50% area which is for the time being showing that the RSI is in a bullish configuration mode. As you can see uh, the momentum is still ongoing because we can still accumulate a bit in this area before trying to come back to the 50% or to uh, appreciate totally to, to, to make an exhaustion movement of the momentum before going up again. So for the time being, the RSI indicators is bullish. The moving average are supporting the market for the midterm one at 47,400 and the shorter one around the 50K area. And the uh, first clue regarding this impulsion, impulsion move here, we know that uh, we have probably let a significant uh, bottom here on the short term with a wave two here, the wave three that it's there. And now we're going to have to trigger the fourth wave before triggering the last push up uh, of the fifth wave uh, movement that they are including in this big third wave that we are uh, speaking about in the long term element. So when we combine all those elements for the time being, uh, we are anticipating a break above the ascending channel, which is from the classical graphic approach, a strong bullish element, because most of the time we see some key acceleration when we are uh, bypassing this kind of graphical element. Uh, and uh, we're going to follow also the um, statistic mathematical indicator to see how the, the, the speed of the moving moving average are progressing. And obviously, uh, approaching the 60K area, we're going to warn you guys on the short term because we know that from this area, then we can start to have kind of uh, uh, consolidation phase, maybe from this kind of uh, amplitude. So we will be uh, quite... Uh, careful uh, to follow this progression before engaging the uh, race to 77,000 area. But for the time being, on the short term, uh, all green lights are here to anticipate this direct bullish uh, move on, on Bitcoin. Uh, now we are going to zoom into this small structure here on the three hours chart basis. So here it's really also uh, interesting because uh, as you can see uh, on, the, on the Bitcoin, on the three hours chart basis, the configuration is really, really clear like uh, I would say school, school study case because we have a good alternance of the wave and uh, basically a good respect of the methodology of the Elliott wave pattern because after having doing a uh, five wave up here in wave one, we have consolidated in a triangle pattern here in wave two before engaging a strong bullish move in wave three here, as you can see. And now we are uh, triggering a flat moving range you can see here, before uh, finally providing a support area where we are now to break above 53,200 and 56,200 uh, as a final short-term target for the time being. So it's quite clear for the time being, only a clear break below 49,700 uh, would jeopardize the direct bullish dynamic. It means that we will need to consolidate a bit more here before going up meaning that the way four is maybe finished here with the last stop and engaging a classical, I would say, a correction in three wave up before going up again. OK, so the preference for the time being, it's still to see a direct upside potential from this area. And for the time being, you see the RSA indicators uh, as the past in the previous consolidation is challenging the 50 percent area here. So for the timing, uh, it's clearly uh, a bullish uh, setup 
with a, with a strong or I would say like a, a good risk reward to manage for, for, for the long side to manage even short term, uh, I would say like derivative position on, on Bitcoin. So that's the picture for the Bitcoin. You remember long term time frame, the 30k area remain the strategic key support to play 77 and 100,000 uh, area. On the mid-run term, uh, we're going to check basically the 47,400 uh, to play 60K. And on the very short-term run, we are going to watch the 49,700 to play at least a test of the previous stop at 53,200 and 56,200. So quite, quite easy. Uh, let's go back right now to the configuration on the Ethereum because Ethereum also is quite well oriented to the upside. Uh, we're going to just watch the daily chart basis because the, the big story on the weekly elements are quite the same between the Ethereum and the Bitcoin. What is interesting here huh, when we, we check at it, uh, we're going to also have the opportunity to retrace all the bear market what we've done here within this upside trend ongoing okay so the idea the final target it's at least to reach the 3950 uh, for this bull run uh, ongoing for 2024 so that's it's where we have very strong conviction especially because after the disruption uh, of the previous long-term bullish trend when the 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 the, the, the bear market has been clearly validated. You see this acceleration following this consolidation in, in the flag. We clearly break with uh, high speed and high volatility uh, as the support. So it was acting as a, I would say, like reversal psychology uh, area. And for the time being, after having challenged uh, this area and retraced to the lower part of the channel, we are now with a strong bullish acceleration, surpassing this area, validating or giving a clue to the market that the psychology right now has reversed. And the consensus right now will continue to accumulate this, uh, I would say, like a greed appetite for the Ethereum, especially uh, with the driver of the next uh, ETF, ETH uh, approbation by the SEC. So we will see. But uh, as the Bitcoin has uh, a kind of outperformance dynamic on the Ethereum since many months right now, we could see an, invers an inversion about this trend in the coming days and coming weeks. I will show you quickly the ratio between Ethereum and Bitcoin, and you will understand why I'm thinking that is because for the timing, you see, uh, on this chart, we have a succession of, or I would say like alternance of the outperformance move between Ethereum and Bitcoin. So you see here during this phase, uh, early 2022, uh, Ethereum was suffering about underperformance against the, the, the Bitcoin. Then it retraced sharply here before reaccumulating a second here of underperformance. And right now we think here we let a significant bottom. And this bottom is corresponding also to the seasonality uh, between the uh, ETF Bitcoin approbation by the SEC and now the focus on the new uh, ETH ETF approbation on the SEC. So it could be the good timing right now to reallocate a bit the portfolio between Bitcoin and Ethereum in your portfolio, such as, for example, reducing the exposure a little bit on Bitcoin and to be slightly more exposed on the Ethereum uh, on, your on your portfolio regarding those elements. Because right now, the, the idea, as you can see, is at least to reach uh, this area before uh, retesting the top of the range uh, for the coming months. OK, so that's really important to keep that in mind. Uh, because um, I think the dominance anywhere on the market is mainly still on Ethereum and Bitcoin. So it really makes sense to have more than 30 to 40 percent of Ethereum and Bitcoin in your portfolio or side of the other tokens. And within this allocation, uh, we consider that Ethereum has more chance right now to uh, gain uh, better uh, in the coming days uh, rather than the, the, the Bitcoin. 
especially also with the with the halving coming ahead, which can impact a bit uh, with the the cost of sales of the miners, uh, could impact a bit their inventory and have to sell a bit more Bitcoin in order to keep or to conserve uh, their 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 park of uh, IT infrastructure uh, regarding the the modification about the revenue in in, in the mining. So let's go back in the. Um, in the Ethereum. So as, you, as I said, the idea right now is to uh, basically retrace slowly all the bear market here, at least to reach this area of uh, 3,950. And on the shorter run, as you can see for the time being, the, the, the bullish channel is really steep and the moving average are really accelerating also following the market. So the, if you remember, uh, on the strategic support on the Bitcoin has been said at 30,500. We are here in parallel on the on the Ethereum at 1430 in terms of key support on a very long term basis. And on the shorter run, uh, we have updated this mid term support, the tactical support in the 2610 area, uh, which correspond to the moving average, also the 50% of the RSI and to the logic also of the retracement of the previous wave here uh, of the wave two, because as you can see for the time being, we have the opportunity to hold above this 50% percent area and the moving average considering that soon we're gonna reach the two the three uh, thousand two hundred area and uh, once we're gonna reach this area the Fibonacci support will be uh, well set above above the, the risk zone so bullish channel recovery test of the three thousand two hundred for the coming days and then we're gonna monitor a bit how the, the the Ethereum can basically react into this channel. Maybe needs to to go back a little bit to accumulate a new bullish momentum, and before going to the upside, then toward the long term the long term target. So that's for the the, the, the Ethereum, and uh, on the short term run for the Ethereum, I will just zoom on it quickly. Uh, on the three hours chart basis, it's quite clear also because as you can see here, we have the formation of the small range, you know, here, typical range. So you have an opportunity this weekend to watch at the 28.70, 28.30 area, huh, all this green area to basically accumulate more ETH or altcoin to print a new top toward this tactical target at 3,200. So that's quite clear. The, the, the indicators for the time being are well positioned uh, around the 50% area. And the seconds of the wave is quite clear. Huh? As you see, the first wave here, consolidation in wave two, uh, first impulsion in wave one, two, three, four, and then we complete the third wave. Huh? It's exactly what we're gonna do also on the Bitcoin on the long term chart basis on the upper horizon and then a short term consolidation in flat for the way four before finalizing the impulsion move. So it's also quite clear for the time being for the Ethereum to accumulate right now in any dips, uh, further long exposition uh, also on the derivative uh, side because as you can see the, the risk reward to manage this strategy is quite tight. So don't hesitate right now for uh, the coming days to uh, make a good pickup selection about some key tokens that they can also provide uh, interesting uh, impulsion. Uh, just to finalize this video, as you, as you know, uh, we used to provide uh, many, many ideas, many opportunities on some tokens. Uh, the last five days has, was quite not too bad because we called for AMP token, for Yotix, we called also for uh, like the DEX token such as Cake and Sushi that they are providing also quite a significant signal from Bond. Uh, we have uh, as well uh, Feel. <coughs> so we have many, uh, many IDs that they are running quite well for the time being. And uh, just to follow two tricky ID, uh, I think what is interesting, we, we have a video when we are speaking about the DEX uh, token. Why, why is it interesting? Because as you can see for the, for the time being, uh, so just one, give me just one second to, to swap on the good work, work workspace. Um, on, the, on the cake side, we have here on the, on the daily chart 
Richard Basis. Uh, Hammer Doji on the moving average within the range configuration that's providing also a quite good ID uh, with uh, RSI that is accumulating also in the in the positive area to bang against the 3.25 in the common part before um, giving more credit to a further bullish momentum to the 5.6 area where the conviction is quite high. Uh, same configuration uh, on Sushi for the DEX, which is for the time being trying to exit from the previous uh, the previous range uh, area. I would just highlight it just right now. You see like three times wave down and now we are trying to accumulate in a momentum to reach at least this 1.7 area before the 3.30. So that's quite interesting because globally all the categories of the DEX are showing that maybe the volume is coming back into the, the DEX exchange, providing more appetite also for the native DEX platform token. Uh, we have also the dynamic around the EI coin, huh? uh, Fed, Ocean, JRT, everything is very hot. We just updated uh, Rhino Ocean on the website. So we adjust the tactical support at 0 0.55 strong conviction to go to 1.03, 1.34. Uh, in parallel, GRT also is well oriented to go uh, higher toward the 0 0.5 area holding above 0 or yeah, like uh, 0.18. And FET also very good strong conviction above 0 0.76 to go to reach 1.36 and 1.95. So that's quite strong view. So don't hesitate to, to ask your question in the Telegram. We're going to give you more details about that. Bond also, it's quite interesting because this token sometimes surprise a bit everyone by providing a strong bullish price action close to the extreme part of the price action. It is the case now, so watch above 3.25 the opportunity to see a significant raise toward 5 and 550. Uh, Phil also, Phil, it's really, really interesting. This morning he was at 8, he was retracing. We are already at 8.40. So this one going to surge. It's clear. Uh, the long-term run, it's still showing that this token were lagging while the Bitcoin and the Ethereum was uh, flying up to the upside. So this one has a very strong potential right now to, 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 to design a very strong move uh, around 15.45. Uh, and there is a last one uh, I wanted to speak about. So it's AMP because AMP we called also this week the bullish exit from the, the channel. We were around uh, this area when we call uh, the strong acceleration. We are still in the good area to accumulate bullish position in pullback. You can see uh, here on this token in pullback to go higher uh, to this area of 0 0.008, 0 0.0. Uh, 10 500 okay so that's it for me for today um, it's the first time we are gonna I mean publish a video um, uh, in English I'm really happy to, to help you guys for the people that they are struggling with the French sorry again uh, and uh, don't hesitate to follow us follow me uh, on Twitter on telegram and uh, I'm gonna help you the most I can to provide you the best uh, key technical element on the market and see you soon ciao